Hello everybody. Welcome to Erndale's. My name is Dale and today I'm going to celebrate the second week in Advent with you by sharing some of my love of angels. In front of you are just a very scattering of some of the angels that I've made over the years. These are ones that I've actually kept. Most of the angels that I make, I either give away or I sell. But these ones just kind of are special to me. So right front and center right here. See my finger right there. That's Penelope. She is a, a doll, a soft cloth doll that I made um, years ago out of from a book that I had bought back in the 70s of all kinds of different soft cloth dolls. And she's a primitive angel, obviously. She's made with all different kinds of recycled cottons and fabrics that I took from old clothing and things like that. The little lace part on her bodice is a piece from my wedding dress. And in her arms is resting a little red cardinal. It's a felt cardinal that I made with my mom years ago. Hanging up behind her is two sleepy angels, a boy or a man and his partner. These two angels I made a few years ago, also out of recycled materials that I found from clothing. Even the bodies are made from an old shirt. And um, they were a pattern that I got free off the internet. I believe they were called a Tilda doll. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they were. And there's a tiny little angel between them, and that is made out of an egg. Uh, my aunt made that for me years ago. It's a half of an egg, and she has a little piece of um, lace around the bottom. She's got a little bead for her a head, a pearl bead, and little gold paper wings. And then on the far left, is Joyful Judy. She also is a prim angel. She has the same mold hair, hair as Penelope and she is a cross stitch angel. Her name is Joyful Judy and she, I got the pattern for her out of one of my just cross stitch uh, ornament books from the, from the, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 years ago. She has very long legs, as does Penelope. She has very long legs, too. You just can't see them. So these are just a few of the angels that I make. I have made hundreds of angels over the years. Crocheted, knit, uh, sewn, any kind of paper. I, I've done all kinds of different angels. And like I said before, most of them I either give away as gifts or I sell them. And I will share some more angels with you, um, perhaps later this week. So today, um, I'm going to be playing you a couple of songs on my, my Yamaha piano. I'm going to play you the Angel Gabriel and also Angels We Have Heard on High. But before I do that, I want to share a little reading, a little, I think it's a poem that I found in one of my favorite books. It's called, uh, the book is called Tony Scrapbook and it was published in 19, let me look here, 1930 by the Riley and Lee Company of Chicago. And this book is a very small little book. It's got a bunch of different readings, poems, little tiny stories that I believe came from a radio show of that era. And so they put it all together in this little book. And I don't actually even know where I got this book from, but I love it. It's one of my favorite little books. It has some wonderful little stories and poems. And uh, so I'm gonna read you one right now. It's called The Angel by Wilbur D. Nisbet. Carve me an angel sculptor and let your stone be white, so light that it will sh shimmer, reflecting back the light. Give it a semblance, sculptor, a form and shape like this. 
a lassie wee and drowsing, who gives a good night kiss. Too weary from all her playing to open her lips to speak and carve the chubby fingers that touch her mother's cheek. Ah, and she needs no angel, she eats no halo, simply a wayward curl. That is an angel sculptor, somebody's little girl. Carve us a mother holding her baby in her arms. Wonderful, tender, hopeful, sweet, she must be and wise. And with the light of heaven glimmering in her eyes, that is an angel sculptor. See that you carve it sure, showing the love that surges out from a soul all pure. Carve me an angel sculptor, carve us a woman old, and grave in all the wrinkles her withered cheeks must hold. Wrinkles that tell of sorrow, lines that the laughs have left. Give her the knotted fingers, no longer quick and deft. Bend her with stress of toiling. How bow her with weight of years. Show us the golden beauty wrought of her smiles and tears. Tell on the stone the story, how she is wan and worn, though all her self-denial for the ones that she has borne. That is an angel sculptor. Grave it and carve it so, and all the world will see it, see it and bow and know. Beautiful. So I'm going to play you a couple of songs now. And later on in the week, I'm going to, I hope to record a video of a story that I wrote about a very special angel. So just let me turn around to the piano now and close your eyes and listen to the angel Gabriel. And I hope I don't mess up.
I hope you enjoyed my day of angels. Have a lovely day, everyone, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.